It's, it, 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 so it's, it's one of those funny things that I always tell people, there's goods and bads to be on the show, and it's, even though it's fun, sometimes it's like when you're at 6 a.m. in the airport, and the Delta guy tells you to bust the move, and he doesn't let you get on the plane. <laughs> And then you get on the plane after you've kind of explained to him, no man, I danced for three months, won't you show me your moves? <laughs> and then once you kind of, I got past that and I got onto the plane, this is the flight attendant, oh my God, are you gonna dance up and down the aisle for us? No, I'm not. No, I am not. <laughs> um, but it's fun, it's all fun and you gotta take it in stride, you know, and just gotta have fun with it. And, and that to me is one of the biggest things that I've learned in life is that humor is an amazing tool. Humor is something that, you know, to be able to laugh about a situation, to be able to laugh about something going on in your life, you know, it, it somehow chips away at the struggle, at, the, at, at how difficult the, at the, the, the moment is, or the problem is. And I've had an amazing opportunity over the course of nine years since my injury to travel the country, travel the world, uh, you know, and share my story. Now, people come up to me all the time, I'm 29 years old, and people come up to me all the time, you know, when I was 22, 23, 24, 25, and now 29, and say, oh my God, like, your knowledge and everything that you know, and, and, and you're just, you're so unbelievable, and they say all these great things, and, and, and I say, listen, listen, I appreciate all of that, but the reason I am the way I am today, the reason I know all the things that I know today is, one, because of my mother, and because she, the way she raised me, and the things that I saw her go through and the struggles I saw her consistently persevering through. But another reason why I am the way I am and the, the reason I know the things that I know is simply because of the fact that I've always listened to other people, what they've had to say. I felt that I, everything that I know today is not necessarily my own thoughts sometimes or my own words or my own feelings or my own beliefs. Sometimes it's, it's somebody else's.